being non-apologetic for the uh, overexposed video and standing up for occasion doing this video I got a bit of a bone to pick with cinnamon yeah the uh, desktop user interface and window manager that Linux Mint comes with maybe other distributions also come with I have been uh, checking every single damn one of them out so I'll just go along with this it starts off smooth it's fast loads really fast excuse me let me adjust my mic for a bit that's better it's somewhat sorry I'm playing shit crooked but you know it's one of those adjustable desktop mics god forbid I do this <laughs> I always wanted to do that but whatever uh, it's extremely sensitive in that regard anyways it starts off fast it's smooth it's great and then after a while which I've noticed this only after a while you know and then it slows down and I can't quite figure out why it lags the frame rate drops to at least 15 frames per second and I can't figure out why it's doing that it uh, it sort of frustrates me to no end Mind you, the camera's on top of the fax machine and I don't want it to fall off. And here's the fun part. After a while, the frame rate drops to about 15 frames per second, maybe even less, and then I can't... Everything else lags because of that. Because yes, it's using the default render, <coughs> OpenGL, my graphics card. I don't think my graphics card is to blame because when I restart cinema using control escape, Undoubtedly, way back in the day, that was a reboot key until somebody changed it. You know, the control delete guy. And uh, then it goes back to rock solid smooth again. Right now, I'm using the WM, or MF, MWM window manager, so I don't got to worry about that lag. LX doesn't even do that either, so whatever. Yeah, lately it's been uh, dropping as slow as 10 frames per second, and that can be frustrating. I thought it was a. Uh, something to do with the browser and that's so why I just started it up I, I just simply cleared closed and restarted the browser and yet it still did it so that's a bit of a problem and although I've actually installed the budgie desktop interface same thing it's just much smoother a bit more complicated to use but I, I've gotten used to it that doesn't slow down it doesn't lag even after you leave the machine on for about months and months and months and months at a time without rebooting it will not lag it will not slow down so I don't know what it is but there's obviously something wrong with it when I said maybe they gotta fix that bug I'm using the current last note edition pushed out to uh, anyone using Linux Mint or Debian edition or whatever depending on what they want to use and uh yeah i to be honest i don't know what to say about that kind of surprised kind of disappointed in a little bit of a way but that's not going to stop me from uh using the distribution at all it hasn't bugged me at all. it hasn't prevented me from i've just been resorting to controlled escape every time to make it smooth again and I don't know how many others have experienced or encountered that problem over and over, maybe less or so. I don't know. I just thought I'd uh, make a short video and just let you know about that. As for the overexposed video, this is an infrared camera and it does not adjust to light very well. And this old lamp beside it to the right, to you to the left, it doesn't matter, is extremely blinding to this camera. And that's why it's overexposed compared to if I turn the light on above on or that one behind me, which I'm not because you wouldn't see me at all. I'd be a dot. Anyways, I just thought I'd bring that up. I don't know. Maybe the development team got to fix something or maybe I got to submit a bug for that. I don't know. I don't feel like submitting a bug report, but if I have to, it gets me too much. I'm going to submit a bug report. Maybe it'll get fixed. Maybe it won't. Is anyone else using the cinnamon window manager desktop interface whatever have they encountered the same problem and it doesn't matter what your graphics are it can be super fast super budget super expensive 
if it's still the same shit, it's the software. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching, and this was done in 4K.